Welcome back friends. Today I am going to explain about Bentham and Hooker classification. Bentham and Hooker classification. This classification was given by two English scientists. Those are Bentham and Joseph Dalton Hooker. They both used to work in Royal Botanical Garden in Kew. Later they came in India and they have made many research and they were divided up. Their classification is mainly based on the seed, which is very small seeds. They have taken the morphological and physical characteristics of every plant present in all over the world. They took the many importance of these seeds. They divided these seeds mainly into dicotyledons and monocotyledons. Dicotyledons means they contain two cotyledons, whereas monocotyledons only one. It is only very single cotyledon, and they have made that uh, dicotyledons having a reticulate venation. They have a taproot like system, whereas monocotyledons they have parallel venation in their leaves, and uh, they have fibrous root system. In vascular bundles also, in monocotyledons vascular bundles are scattered, whereas dicotyledons they have spirally arranged. Means there are differently arranged vascular bundles are present in a dicotyledons. This is the main difference between monocotyledons and dicotyledons. They have taken that. Mainly, this classification is divided like that. From plant kingdom, they have broadly divided into two. They are cryptogamous and phanerogamous. Phanerogamous, in literally, it is a very simply known as flowering plants. Phanerogamy, the name itself denotes that it is a flowering plants. Means later they have divided up these phanerogams into two, three. They are dicotyledons, gymnosperms, and monocotyledons. Means in which uh, here if you see that uh, dicotyledons, gymnosperms, and monocotyledons. Means dicotyledons after gymnosperms are gymnosperms is placed in between dicotyledons and monocotyledons, where they form a great demerit in this system. This is considered as one of the demerit system and uh, later dicotyledons it having 8 series mainly it having 8 series and gymnosperms they are having only 3 and whereas monocotyledons they are having about uh, 6 to 7 like that later if you go and beyond uh, dicotyledons as I have said earlier that it is having a 2 cotyledon seeds and monocotyledons having a single cotyledon seeds Dicotyledons mainly divided into thalamic fluorid, disky fluorid, gassy fluorid. These are the three. And another one is a gamma petal. Means they have fused petals. They are having inferior heteromere bicarpellate. The later, if you want to remind, remind me how many numbers they are also. I can say. And if you go further, like monoclamide. Uh, monoclamide having a. Uh, Multivovulate aquatic, multivovulate terrestrial, micro embryo, defanels, as acclimatosporins, unisexuals, and later uh, they are uh, order anomaly. Gymnosperms having only three, that is very simply if you remember those are uh, Gnetaceae, Coniferaceae, Psychedaceae. These are the three important. Uh, and later the other one which is uh, taken as monocotyledons. Monocotyledons they are having very differently arranged. These are Epigenes, Epigene, Calicinae, Nudiflore, Apocare. These are the very clearly understood. So this video is helpful. Thank you.